Mr. Lambert here. In this video, we're going to be talking about angle of release. The angle of release is the angle you create when you release a projectile either out of your hand or from a racket, maybe your foot, maybe from a bat. The angle of release or the optimal angle of release will depend on your goal. Okay, if you're wanting to hit a target, okay, for example, if you wanted to throw a ball at some wickets and cricket, maybe you wanted to shoot a basketball into a hoop, okay, then your optimal angle of release is going to be variable to all sorts of other things that are going on. Okay, are there defenders around? Is there wind? Okay, how far away is it? And these sorts of things. If you're trying to throw something as far as possible, or maybe think something like a javelin or a shot put, then your optimal angle of release is going to be 45 degrees. Let's draw a few pictures to show this. If our wee friend here shooting his basketball wanted to get the ball up and into the hoop, he needs to make sure that his angle of release is high enough to get over the front of the rim but not so high that it goes too high, so, one up here, so you don't want it to have too much of a vertical velocity. Okay, You want it to be at such a point where it can go high enough to get over the rim and into the hoop. Now, depending on things like the speed of release and the height of release, that's going to determine uh, what your angle of release needs to be. Okay, So if you shot it at too low angle of release, it would go short. If you shot at too high an angle of release, it would still go short and wouldn't make a distance. So he just needs to shoot it just right with the correct speed of release as well to get it into the hoop. Other variables might be that there could be a defender in the way. If it's a big tall defender, then you might need to shoot the ball at a high angle of release again. Okay, uh, the closer you are to the hoop means that you're going to have to shoot it a little bit higher with the angle of release as well. All right. Now these are obviously very important depending again on your target on your goal. If our end goal is to throw or to put something as far as possible, like I said before, the optimal angle angle of release is 45 degrees. Forty-five degrees allows the projectile to remain in the air for the, a, a long enough period of time, and giving it a nice, uh, the right amount of both vertical and horizontal velocity. So this might be again a shot put, a javelin, it might be kicking the ball, anything like that. Yay! If you have any questions? Go and ask the teacher. Bye.